Hello, it's Mercy here from Del Riata. I'm just going to do an extra video this week, a quick one about the world event that is going on at present. Um, it's got a bit of a different scoring strategy and um, it's got a bit of a weird... Let's go to it. It's got a bit of a weird kind of... Um, what is called? Into the, into the West. Um, a bit of a weird uh, point strategy, but it's got a, a, a bit of an odd kind of mix of... Um, teams you can you can use and I think people are getting a little bit intimidated by it so the first thing I'm going to do is explain the points so the points um, it's a bit weird because there are Yalguais which you can't see at the moment uh, I haven't got any and then there's a whole lot of purple opponents and they are hounds of different things so here's the hound of poison here's the hound of stone hound of stone and you get more points in the um, you get more points in the event for the higher the level, which is nice. Um, but the more points, the more Hounds of Poison you get, the higher that level. So so here my choices are Hounds of Poison, Hounds of Stone. Um, if I choose that Hound of Poison, I don't get many points for it. If I choose that one, I get many more. So um, it, it, one interesting variation is that the higher the levels go up here, they are potentially better than the legendary opponent who is Yogwai. Um, and if you go to the guild you can see Tumki Tum has uh, so here's me I've got the, you get these ones I can't remember what they're called chaos shards or something um, you get those for defeating Yao Guai so I've defeated 20 Yao Guai and and 216 worth of whatever the hell those are they look like sort of baby aliens from the um, from the um, Ridley Scott movie um, but uh, you can see Tom Kitum's used a completely different strategy. He's fought more of those hounds than I have. So his hounds are obviously higher level. So he's actually getting more points than I do when I fight a Yao Guai. So he's using a better strategy than I am. And and that's the thing I wanted to point out. So so go for and he's and he's clearly got a higher score. So go for that that's a better strategy to get one of your or two of your hounds up. Um, you do get trapped occasionally, so you do get stuck, um, like I have, where I've got, uh, I'm going to have to eventually get that Hound of Poison to clear it, or, or one of those Hounds of Stones to clear them, but, um, you know, because a Hound of Poison or a Hound of Stone level 10 will turn up here, and then I'll have four of them, and that'll be annoying, but uh, it's alright. Um, so, there we go. Uh, as usual, I have bought up to tier 6, because uh, that's just what I do. I buy t up to tier 6 at the beginning to get that potion of shielding. I don't sometimes go to there if we're not going to make it, but I'm pretty sure we're going to make it this time. If you look at it, we're at, it's Tuesday in New Zealand, and we are on stage 9. So we're, we're going to make it, there's no doubt about that. Um, but it is actually quite fun. I quite like, I'm quite enjoying this guild actually. I mean this uh, this uh, world event. And let's just go quickly have a look. Oops, sorry. Let's go quickly have a look at teams because that uh, there's a lot of discussion of teams, and I've changed my team so many times. Oh my god. Um, okay, so I've opted for Sky Hero. So Sky Hero um, hits a column of hits a column. Oh, I apologise for the yowling cat in the background. Um, hits a column of yellows uh, the, and makes, I don't know, six, is it eight? Four. Four red gems for each um, yellow that you destroy. So you, you want to go for four yellows in the column to really um, get a four match somewhere of reds. And then, so I've gone for reds here. So my two mythics are reds. I mean, you could d use the, ch what's it called, the champion of Anu? No. I've forgotten what he's called. Anyway, um, any of the mythics do, do well here, and let's just have a look. It's Flame of Anu. So I've got two Flame of Anu, so I could use a Flame of Anu in there, I guess, but um, I'm looking for um, red, of course, because Sky Hero makes red. Uh, yellow, of course, because that's what you hear, that's the restriction. So if you go back and have a look at the restriction, the restriction is divine yellows. Um, uh, and what, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Sky Hero creates red. So these guys, I've, I've chosen red mythics. I could have e easily chosen Flame of Anu. Uh, I did actually, for most of the event, have Flame of Anu down here. But actually, it never got charged. I finished the battle well before it got charged. So what I've done is I've put in Holy St. Astra because Holy St. Astra has this nice thing here, which is create a light storm. So 
Although War Priest or Priest, uh, which are my favourite teams, are favourite classes, they create a light storm at the beginning of battle. They don't sustain it throughout the battle, but Holy, Holy Sinestra does. Uh, Holy Sinestra also um, uh, enchants humans, and although these guys aren't humans, uh, War Priest and Priest make your weapon a human, so Holy Sinestra. Uh, enchants herself and enchants Sky Hero. So that's quite a good inclusion. I mean, you could put your rally in there because your rally's not mana blocked and your rally does true damage to everybody. So that's a good choice. Um, Divinia is another good choice. Explode all red gems. A lot of people have been using Divinia in their team, but uh, Divinish Bala is another good one, but does skulls. Guards Avatar is really, really good because it does damage to everybody and it's boosted by armor. And of course, Holy Sandestra adds armor to Guards Avatar. So they are really good. Penlong's really good because Penlong does damage to everybody. Paladin's really good if you have multiple of them because um, boosts by armor and gains armor every turn and gains bonus yellow from yellow matches. So um, Paladin's really good. Whew. Uh, Infernus is really good. Um, Quezatamla is really good, Quillen is good but creates, um, does the bless but it converts, again, converts a gems which is good. Quezatama is really good because it does scatter damage and scatter damage at this course is multiplied by the medals so Quezatama is actually really good. I don't choose Quezatama because, well I could actually choose Quezatama because it's not mana blocked. Hmm, ah, okay I could go for Quezatama but hey, doesn't matter. Um, Stonehammer is even a choice, so Stonehammer could go in there, up there, um, but would mana block Sky Hero, but Archdiva, because of Archdiva's fourth one, burying, barrier, putting a barrier there for um, a random ally when you match four gems, and you do lots of four gem matching in this game, so you could put the Archdiva there, and that would, although it's completely mana blocked, you'd be doing it for its trait, so that would be also good, and I have seen very good teams with the Will of Nisha, and I started off with the Will of Nisha, I started off with a double Will of Nisha team, um, which was which was entirely brilliant. Um, so there are many, many options. This is not the, this is the team I like, but I like it, um, and I'll show you it, but um, it, it isn't necessarily the best one. Uh, let me see, I think Tumki Tum put Tomoki Tum is using the Abaihu, the new um, glory troop that we got this week. Again, using um, Priest. I hadn't even thought about using Doom Scripture, because my Doom Scripture is only at plus one. But there you go, Will of Nisha and Divinia. So, um, very, very different. Uh, here's another very different team. Quillen, Divinish Bala, Archdever, and Flamifer. Nothing wrong with that team. So Quillen and Divinish Bala, very good. Um, Oh, look, Joe Covers saying doesn't take advantage of the medals, and that's true, but Devanish, Bella, and Quilla create so many skulls that who cares? And Flamif is going to be cranking up Quillen. So um, Speaker Town's using something very similar to me, so Quizatalama, uh, um, Quiz, Quit, Quitzlama, and Flame of Anu, though the ones, though the other mythics I discussed, discussed, discussed there. I had a very similar team to this, but never seemed to charge Flame of Anu, so, um, you know, similar to my team, so that's good. Uh, oh, there it is, that's, that's the version I had with when I had Flame of Anu, but um, just didn't charge. Lyric is using Broken Guards, Guards Avatar, so Guards Avatar is very good. Queen Aurora, I wish I had. Queen Aurora is a very good card. Oh, a sim and similar... So um, Lyric is using a similar strategy to me, using Holy St. Astra and Guards Avatar and Titan. Mm, interesting. So not taking advantage of that. Um, so and Lyric's not, Lyric is taking advantage of Lightning Strike, but not taking advantage of the making your weapon a human. But that's fine. It's a very easy team. I can't see any more. Here's some. Here's another one. Uberstedt. I don't have an Uberstedt, uh, but again, similar. Divinia, Ishtara, Guards Avatar, Uberstedt, so Agent will be doing quite well. Uh, I started off with this one because I liked Urali doing damage to everybody. Um, I liked Ishtara, of course, doing damage to, to everybody. And Spike Man King, Man, Manriki, does damage to everybody. So that was a really good early on one. But um, when I got... Uh, 
what's his name? Yao Guai up up above level three hundred. It got it didn't didn't really cut the cut the mustard. So um, there we go. So lots and lots of different options. Let's go have a look at my team just for fun uh, to battle. Uh, it is quite fun. Like I really want to encourage this this one because it is actually quite fun. So uh, oh gosh, I've changed my screen. I'm really close to it. So. Uh, I don't want to use yellows to get Sky Hero up. I just want to. Uh, I only really want to sky ca cast Sky Hero when I've got um, three or four yellows in a row. So I don't. I don't really want to do that just yet. I don't have any. Sorry, in a column. I don't have any in a column. Let's just give everybody some extra stuff. Um, I still haven't got four in a column. That's a bit. That's a bit of a pain, really, isn't it? So let's just. Let's just match. Um, Still haven't got four. I'm not really demonstrating how good my team is here, so I'm just going to cast it anyway because I'm not going to muck around anymore. And this should just finish it. There we go. Um, so at that at that lower level, our opponent, you, it's just one hitting everything. So, but um, we're getting lots of corrupt souls. So let me see. Here we go. Yao Guai. Here's a good fight. So Yao. So here's where the strategy. I've kind of blown it because here I've got to choose a tough Yao Guai at level 350 because all my hounds are low. Um, so that's where, this is what I was trying to say before, so this is where Tumki Tum's done a lot better than I have in getting the hounds up Oops, and, and making um, getting more points. So just be careful of that and if you look on Discord I have posted an explanation of how of how that works. I am going to show you this team because this team is particularly good against a high level Yao Guai. Um, I'm thinking it's going to go further. One day, I guess, if I carry on with a stupid strategy, I'm probably going to have to take on um, what. Uh, so there's a three, there's a three yellows in a column that will have to do. And I will match that column. Gives me some reds. Didn't give me any four matches though. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, have I got another column with lots of yellows in it? No, it's a bit of a shame, but I have got a four match of red, so that's good. Um, oh, I'll just take that four match. It didn't really do much, did it? This guy. Um, have I got another four? Oh, I've got another four match of red there. Let's get the guards avatar up. Any more yellows? Nope. So let's start using using some of these guys. So that took away, that stripped his armor. Guards avatar is great, does damage to everybody. And Ishtar should finish it off. Oh, hey, what? Summon somebody when he died. Right back. Um, all right, let's see. There we go. We've got four yellows in the column, so Sky Hero will create lots of reds. Let's do that. Ah, oh, didn't, didn't get any four matches, though. Gave them a full match. That's pretty useless. Um, okay, this is prolonging, prolonging this battle. Um, mm, 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 don't really want that. Let's just get Sky Hero up. We've got another four yellows there, so let's do that again. Hopefully we've got, there we go. Um, we've got, we've got him up. Ah, oh, so these guys are so, these guys are so defended that um, we've got a three. Uh, let's do that. Didn't get it, gave it to him, but didn't matter. He's only got green. Red's not going to fire. Oh, there's a full match. Let's get you then. Uh, 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 uh. I mean, this is a long battle, and you can see because we've got so much, so much health here. Um, but we're never, never going to lose, are we? We're not, not on any, any threat of losing at any real point here. Let's hit you again, and let's hit you again, and let's finish this off. Okay, so there we go. Easy peasy. So a bit longer when you get up to the, the tough battles with the El Guai, but uh, this stupid corrupt cause. Um, but that's the end of my video. Don't follow my strategy. Follow the one where you get the hounds up. So here we go. Here's a hound of fire. So, okay, so we've got one core. Let's just see how many, when we get to 100 with a hound, let's see how many points we get, because... You're probably going to see it's better. I'm guessing you're going to see it's better. Um, have we got any yellows? 
S got three there. That'll do. Oh, should have matched. Probably should have matched that, but never mind. Oh, didn't get a four match. That's a bit rubbish. Ah, uh, right. Have I got any other four matches? I've got some greens. I've got some uh, skulls. It's a waste of time, isn't it? Um, dun, 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 dun. okay. Let's enchant everybody. Or chant. Let's bury somebody. Enchant. Sky hero. Uh, let's take that. Do some skulls. Let's get. Okay. Let's crank this up now. And oops. Let's do guards avatar. Where you go? Um, let's see how many points we get. 12, 12, 12, 13. 13 corrupt souls. So how many is 13 corrupt souls compared to... How do we work that out? Guild. How do we work that out? Does it tell us anywhere? No. Overview. Corrupt souls. Here we go. 13. So one corrupt souls with one... So 13 corrupt souls. So a level 100 was worth 13 points and a level 350 Yogwai was worth 15. So there you go. So you probably have to be about 120, a hound at level 120 to make it worth one 300 level Yogwai. So clearly the better strategy is exactly what um, Tumki Tum was doing. Even though I'm up there, I've probably spent zillions more sigils to get there. So Tumki Tum is playing smarter than I am. Um, and yeah, so you can see who's playing that. Khan's playing that same strategy. These guys aren't. Speak down, uh, they aren't. So once you once you start on the wrong track, you kind of get committed to it, and it's really hard to turn back. But um, there you go. So very easy. We will easily complete this one, but it's actually quite fun. I do really recommend it. Please get into it. There are zillions of different teams you can choose. Don't get stressed out and think there's a best team because there probably, I mean, there probably is, but uh, all the teams are really good because you're, you're actually, if you're clever, you're smashing low level hounds. So you, most of your fights are going to be quite low level. So you don't have to stress about your team so much um, because you're not going to be enormously uh, worried about defense. So, so long as you get um, lots of attack, then, then, or a couple of, a couple in your team with lots of attack and then you're fine and you can see that that's working for some people because they're using skull teams um, so there you go that's the end of the video what just wanted to briefly encouraging encourage everybody to join in looks like it's a really good week the guild's going brilliantly we've actually got 30 in the guild at the moment i don't even think i'm going to be kicking somebody out so if you are watching this video and you want to oh maybe i am looks like Floladin's going to go today. Um, if you want to join, uh, actually, and Dennis is going to go probably too. Um, so uh, we're going to have a couple of slots available. If you are watching this video and you're not in our guild, come and join us because we are awesome. So have a good rest of your week. Goodbye.